And tonight, Team 12's Bram Resnick joins us in our alert center with information on a new bill that would give parents more information on vaccines, but some wonder why it's needed. Bram? Yet yeah, most of the measles cases in the Northwest affect children who were never immunized. But here in Arizona, Republican lawmakers are raising questions about the effectiveness of vaccines, suggesting they might be dangerous. What if you were told that vaccine was made with formaldehyde? It's not just formaldehyde. They're in some cases, they're animal parts. Republican State Senator Paul Boyer is sponsoring a bill that he says expands required vaccine information for parents, including the ingredients in children's vaccines. Shouldn't parents know what's being injected into their child's body? Boyer and his wife are expecting a child, but he wouldn't say whether his baby would be vaccinated. You know, Bram, I'd rather uh, <laughs> leave the, the home conversation out of this one. Arizona law allows parents to opt out of vaccinating a child based on their personal beliefs. More parents these days are opting out. Maricopa County vaccination rates for kindergartners have declined to a level below so-called herd immunity, allowing disease to spread more easily. What I don't get is what problem is this bill solving? Former Arizona Health Director Will Humble says parents already get two pages of information from pediatricians supplied by the Centers for Disease Control. It tells everybody everything that they really need to know and where they can go for more information. What about Paul Boyer's call for listing ingredients? Did you want to know all the ingredients in no. a given vaccine? I want to know that it's safe and effective. That's what I want to know. And if you're wondering why formaldehyde is used in vaccines, the CDC says chemicals are added to preserve vaccines and prevent them from losing potency over time. The amount of formaldehyde in vaccines is much smaller than what's found naturally in the human body. Live in the Alert Center, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Thanks, Bram.